They're gonna do it! <laughs> what it do, Ski? It's your boy, Farewell34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Riverdale. This one is season three, episode 12. How's it going, everybody? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm relatively on time this week. Last episode was one of my favorites of the season, but it was also one of the more wonkier episodes, if that makes any sense, um, where a lot of questions were answered, um, whether or not you think they were well answered. I mean, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm interested to see where things are going to go from here. So with that being said, let's dive into it. As always, if you enjoyed it, then be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. But anyway, let's just dive into this one, y'all. You wait. And candy drugs aren't the exception, they're the norm. This one's called Bizarro Day, by the way. Sometimes, the people are still just living their lives. You mean you don't want a big wedding? We just finalized our divorces, Kevin. Mm -hmm. And this is a second marriage for both of us. And with everything that's going on in Riverdale. Yeah, we just want to go down to Town Hall and just keep it simple. As long as you let us throw you an after party at Le Bon Nuit. Oh, God. Uh, if there's no wedding reception, it means the Gargoyle King has won. Marcus? Tom. Hey, Keller, ladies, how are you all doing? Oh, we're good, thank Moose's you. Moose's dad? Actually, we've got some news. Tom and I are finally tying the knot, and these two are throwing us an after party downstairs. You and Moose can be our first invites. How about it? What's his deal? You know, Marcus and I used to be good friends. We, uh, we did ROTC together. But... Marcus always had a crush on me, as oh. you know. <laughs> but I only had eyes for you. Lucky me. <laughs> All right, well, yellow. Feels so good to sleep in a real bed. I miss the gang, babe. <sighs> okay. Oh my God, our SAT scores. Mm. I pray mine are good enough for Highsmith College. Flawless, as I've always known you to be. <laughs> Boom, perfect. Since you two vigilantes took it upon yourselves to burn all the fizzle rocks that I had already sold, you are gonna come up with the money to pay back. What's owed? And quickly. How much money Meyer, was it? Who has a reputation for being dangerously unhinged is on their way to Riverdale. Didn't you give Jughead bands last episode? I'm confused. What do you mean you don't have the money? I mean, it depends how much. If it's like an absurd amount, then maybe you can't pay. But I mean, like, you were all giving me. Looking to get paid back in full for you're the drugs they are not getting. As captain of the River Vixens and president of the student body, whilst maintaining a 4.2 GPA. You are Miss Blossom. However, it's time to diversify our student outside the alumni pool. Well, I mean, we're going we're going out of this episode. I mean, how long have we been together? Since summer started. So practically forever. Your dad. Yikes. Dad, Major Mason. I told you they were in here, sir. Cadet Mason. On the double. I mean, well, I wanted more Kevin. I wanted more Tony. I think everyone else did too, so. Always happy to see you, Josie. Especially if this is a... A booty call? Word. Well, it's... And I would be with you, all in with you in a second, but... But you sliding into my life whenever you don't want to be alone. Yikes. Maybe that makes me needy, but... I just... Oh, I gotta get this merry-go-round with you. Alright, this actually feels like we're just back to high school again. This is... So this is the... Request an injunction. <laughs> I think I'd like to go straight to trial. <laughs> Where are you going? I am having a little snack before having my other snack. <laughs> ah, nothing bad happened, please. Oh my god. What type of G&G shit is this? If you get married, one of you die. Fair Seriana, if you wish to live to see this blessed event, you must reunite with your midnight club to go... To complete Ascension Night. Once more. Once and for all. Oh my god. We'll pay the price. Guys, I was liking what we were The Gargoyle King. I was liking where we were going. I'm sure you can find a well-adjusted, handsome, out and proud fella here. I, I like Moose a lot. I just wish he'd be honest with his dad so we could date. It reminds me that there are people in this town that still believe that being gay is anything less than rapturous. Maybe Moose would come out if you liked me more. Oh. So maybe he just needs the subtlest of nudges. A certain oh-so-hunky all-American ROTC cadet is afraid to come out of the closet. 
Well, let's show this cadet that Riverdale High is welcoming. So that's a little, also, that's a little today, much, man. Shepherd's pie. Thank you. I'm opposed to publicly outing people unless they're conservative politicians. Have people guessed it's you? And I can't keep playing broke back Riverdale with someone who's in the closet. Either you come out to your dad or I'm sorry, but we're breaking up. Hmm. I get both perspectives, but I don't know. What the hell were you thinking? Just now? About the sweet, sweet revenge and shattered bag of oh, my she dreams. Give her the you tea. just outed Moose. No, I didn't. Yeah. It was a blind item, Tony. No. Moose's father could have heard that announcement. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, is this our first fight? Cheryl, get some perspective. Ooh! That my uncle hated the fact that I dated girls. They were like my non-judgmental family. And now I don't have them. I didn't realize. Of course you didn't. Do or board. It's about money. It's show just stop and listen to me. High Smith College was your legacy. The serpents were mine. Mm -hmm. I'll fix this. My part. <laughs> All of it. You are the most important person in my life. That's what I was saying. When I heard her make the announcement, I was like instant red flags. I'm like, wait, what are you doing, Cheryl? Because, like, wh what do you mean? I didn't know. Like, you you said the group. You you were named. You were named. You named everything but the guy. But you circled. You, you narrowed it down to it being like a small chunk of people in a fairly fair, in a relatively small town in a small school. You know, totally totally deserved to get flamed for that. I ended it so that I could focus on my music. Which is what I always do. Stay focused. You know where this is going. And I can't ask my mom for a ride. Val deserves better. Because if she knew and I didn't do well at it, she'd start asking me about my backup plans. Or we're about to have our kneecaps broken. Courtesy of whoever this mystery buyer is. Does that really happen? Banks have round-the-clock security guards with guns. Yeah, but if anything, like my dad's lame-ass security guards. My genius. My dad keeps cash in a safe at the dealership. Enough to make up the difference. I'm gonna let you steal from your own family. I'd be borrowing money from my future self, and everything's insured. Hot take. Reggie, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? You broke into a prison, stole a bunch of drugs, tarnished the drugs, got you in another hole. Now, now, okay. You owe some odd $500,000 USD. And this is resulting in you now wanting to steal, potentially from a bank, but no, from your own father. I'm going to have to ask this one last time. Is it worth it? So my dad will get a sweet payout, which is more than he deserves for all the shiners he's given me over the years. Well, I guess, yeah, uh, they did back where he was an at. Like, he's fucking terrible, but... But it might be inspired. Two members of the original Midnight Club are daring to get married. I'll talk to Hiram. All right, well, let's settle then. We finished the game we started. Keller, do you have no opposing thoughts that uh, FP is just all of a sudden the new sheriff? I mean, not even a... Oh, nice hat, you know? All right, then. Whenever you're ready. Copyrights. Or not. Oh my god, Reggie, are you shocked? How about you move? I got the money, but turns out there was security after all. Are you okay? Drive! Unfortunately, we are unable to invite you to callbacks this year. I'm sorry, Josie. I know I'm biased, Archie, but I think I killed that odd. Let's see how much money we just comped. I pray it's enough. Uh, yep, I was about to say. <gasps> what? A die pack? Oh, hell. We're screwed. It's almost like it was a fucking stupid idea to begin with. Oh, hello. I did it. I told my dad. What? You did? How'd it go? He was quiet and weird at first, but then okay, I think. We went to Pops afterwards and got chicken pot pie. I know the perfect spot where no one will interrupt us. Well, I seriously hope nothing bad goes, well, goes down. Well, then a fortuitous turn of events was... Welcome, Dad, babe. And remember, this is all messed up, too. Uh, yes. Please, have a seat. 
Who? It's got to be someone you know. Hiram, who? Oh, uh, the Oh, or not. Here's your money. Or his money. I know she's cutthroat, but man, that's cold as ice. Oh, Sorry, I was supposed feel. to know you. I'm Gladys Jones. Oh, wait, one more thing. Um, j Just as a favor, don't tell Jughead about our business. I mean, if you do, I'm going to have to tell. But, but thanks, it kind of turned out okay. I hope so. I'm my dad now. I feel like I need to <laughs> see it to believe I, it. We, uh, finally going to do it. Tonight in some secret bunker. Well, 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 Moose. In that case, I bring a fresh set of sheets if I were you. <clears throat> and they're back drawing in Cinch night again. Um, I like it. I like the, I like the backstory they did. So. I know candles. It's it's dumb. Uh, I get it. Do it up, boys. Girls' bathrooms clear. What? What's the twist? Wait a minute. Where's Penelope? <laughs> Deadered? No. What does it mean? It's a prank. Well, Archie, lock the doors. Do not let anybody in the house. It's locked. Dad was wrong. <sighs> Frep, it's my dad. My mom's calling me too. Everyone's just having sex today? <laughs> That's my dad. That's my mom. Carol? No. Where the color for you, dude? No. It's funny. Are you kidding me? I thought this was never gonna happen. One of the one the one of the most wholesome things that we could have on the show this episode. Betty, if that's you, I reserved the bunker for tonight. And this is what we get. Betty! The slaughter of Kevin and Moose. Moose, no! Is that it? Oh my god. It just dawned upon me. The 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 like the navy group whatever they have that Musa and Kevin are a part of, they just might be, the Gargoyle King. They came recently, the Gargoyle game gang came recently. Notably, what if the the head guy? I don't know if it was Musa's dad or not. Really, I think it was Musa's dad. They stopped a shot. Um, what if he's the Gargoyle King? Or what if that one dude who called the dad in? When Kevin, when he had a feeling Kevin and Moose would be making it out in the area, maybe he's a part of the Gorgo gang. There's something there, I think. Oh my god! What do you want? How fast can you first. run? Okay. I'll go first. Well, they're not gonna kill Kevin, so Moose has gotta go. Oh, clutch! Told you, called it. They're from the ROTC. What? Why? Put me in the writer's room, bro. Put me in the fucking writer's room! Oh! Can you believe it? You're a piece of shit. You about to kill your son. Let's cut to the bone, Mason. You're a piece of shit. Boy, try to scare him? Scaring them. Right. Scaring them straight. You set out to a ROTC was the same way when Tom Keller and I were in high school. Back then, oh. us cadets did everything together. And no one was closer than me. Were they a thing? My best friend, Tommy Keller. No way. Oh. Until I tried to kiss him. Marcus, when my parents They're really cared, tying everything in like that's that. That's huh? when I first met the king. And where I started playing griffins and gargoyles. Jelly belly? What? <sighs> I'm sorry I was such a jerk last night. No, that's all right, sweetheart. And the bummer is, I was going to suggest we sing together, Josie. So why can't we? I always wanted to see the lights of Burrow. Well, congrats to them. I'm glad it was too late to cancel my game. Your friends are here and I'm here and you can live with any of us, Kevin. I can't. At least not for a little while. Completely understandable. And he didn't diss it's not like he was dissing him or anything, it just he needs to go, right? They can FaceTime. All right, Facebook Messenger, you're good. What's this? A gang. If you want it, you said you were missing having the serpents as a family. Do we have a name yet? How about... What? The Pretty Poisons. Pretty by day, poison by night. I love that. 
You said you have an update for me? Yeah, but first... Not bad. It was a serious cash hell. Even her daughter's working for me now. Oh, yeah. We moved to the right place at the right time. I could feel it. They're gonna f do it! They're gonna do it! Ugh! Like, Val is your girl! Is she, is she not? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, we all saw that coming. We all saw that coming. Oh, fucking Riverdale. I mean, I actually like this episode. Um, there was a lot of good things in it, but there was occasional... They, they kept chiming for some, for some annoying chords, pun intended for me. I uh, wasn't a big fan of the Josie and, and Archie arc. Uh, even though I like the development of their friendship, I mean, I, we all saw they were going to develop some love interest stuff. Um, the stuff with Moose and Kevin and Cheryl and Choni and then I, I thought it was I thought it was pretty well done and fairly well executed. The whole idea of um, the RSSO whatever coming back, me and the Gargoyle King, the Gargoyle group, that came back. I, I predicted that. I, that got pretty lined up by the end of it. And I would say this was one of the better episodes this season for me. Again, like I said, occasional things came up that sort of ruined it. Great in my opinion, but it was still a solid one. It just so happens the episode without Jughead and Betty turned out to be pretty good. Like Anyway, y'all, but that was this episode of Riverdale. What did you think? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. Um, what were some of your favorite moments? What were some of your um, least favorite moments? I'd love to hear what y'all thought in the comment section down below. But with that being said, y'all, that was it for this one. I will see you all next time.